Hey guys, in this tutorial, we are going to transform our subject right here in Photoshop using the liquify. We are going to liquify her, her body, but areas like this around her stomach, it will be very difficult to use liquify to fix this area because of the extension of the arms. So I will show you a technique we can use to overcome that so that we can easily fix our model body and make it look exactly like this. And if you watch this video all the way to the end, you are going to learn new Photoshop tips and tricks. With no further ado, let's get started. If you zoom all the way to our model face, you can see that it needs retouching. And to do that, we are going to use the auto fix FS action. So one click action, and if you just play, it automatically fix the model's skin. So if you see the before and the after, before and the after. It doesn't just fix the face, it fix all the body from the head to anywhere that the skin is being exposed. To get the auto face FS action, you can check the link in the description. It's a one click action that's going to save you a lot of retouching time. So you just play the action and it automatically fix the model skin, like we can see right here in this video. So if you zoom closely, See exactly how it works. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to flatten the layers. So if you right click on the image, you see flatten image. And you click on flatten image to flatten the image. So that we can now duplicate the background. And we are going to rename this liquify. And we are now going to come to filter. And I'm going to click on liquify. So right here, we can use the Forward wrap to select the forward wrap to. I can use that to gradually pull the press forward like this, and then also I can use that to pull out the bomb bomb like this. So you just gradually pull. And now to fix this area of our model, this back, this area like this. If we try to pull it back, it's going to actually put the hair. So to avoid that, you take the face marks tool, you use your bracket open key or bracket close key to adjust your brush size. Use a bracket close key to increase the brush size and the bracket open key to, to reduce it. The close to increase, the open to reduce. So you just adjust the size. And then you paint the thread overlay on the hair so that we don't deform the hair. I try to fix this area. The face mask tool is to max why the throw mask, why the tall mask tool is to unmax. So that's how it works. So I just need to take our forward warp tool right now. I'm going to pull this area back as easy as this. Left click and pull back. Now, if you want to fix this stomach area and when you try to fix it, you can see that. It's not going to be able to remove this area, this line right here. Because any way you are going to do that, it's just going to destroy her arms. Everything is going to look awkward. So just keep watching because I'll show you how to easily fix these areas in Photoshop. So you just continue and gradually pull in areas like this. As easy as this. Her arms also, she has very big arm so to reduce that you just pull back and as easy as this we have taking the image from looking like this to now looking like this so we can still go on and use the photo up to to remodel her body it's as easy as that and the only issue you're having is around this stomach area. You can see it's looking like she's pregnant. You're going to fix that very soon in Photoshop. So the way you reshape your model's body depends on the model. So and it depends on the on the request of the client. If it's a client, but if it's a model shoot, if it's your own personal creative shoot, you can do whatever you want. Just show you how to use the tool and the 
level you're going to pull in or pull out depends on what you are looking for or what you are trying to get. So, yeah, so we continue to pull in and pull out using the forward walk tool. Just the forward walk tool is enough for this particular image. There are other tools we have reconstruct tool, the smooth tool, the twill clockwise tool, the poker tool, the blood tool, the push left tool, the face tool, uh, the hand tool, and the zoom tool. But we are not using all these tools for this particular image. I'm going to put out tutorials on how to use the other tools for an image that has issues that require us to use those tools. So you can take the preview before and after. And now we are going to come back into Photoshop to fix this remaining issue. So to fix the stomach area like this, we are going to zoom in. And I'm going to take our pen tool. Now we are going to create a selection that is going to take the shape of the stomach. The shape we want to give to the stomach is going to go like this. So for the first selection, we are going to create a point here. And now we are going to create another point here. And why still holding down the pen tool, you are now going to drag like this, drag to create this shape. Once you are okay with the shape you've created, hold Alt or Option key, hold Alt on your PC, hold Option key on your Mac. So that I see this, the shape of the pen tool is going to change from this minus icon to this arrow icon. And when you click on the point, it's going to delete the point, the anchor point. So that we can now create another shape right here on the arms. You click and you drag. You hold Alt to delete the point. You click and you drag, just as easy as this. You can see that the pen is very easy to use. So that's how you create the point. Once we are okay with the shape we created around the stomach, you can just randomly complete the cycle. Now you right click and you click on make selection. You fade that reduce to four, and now you click on OK to make the selection. Now you take your clone stamp tool, resize, hold Alt to pick from the background, and then paint on these areas. Select, deselect, and take your patch tool and remove the hard shape that's been revealed. I can see the before and the after. We've easily fixed this area. Now it's remaining this area. We'll do the same thing. Now the shape the stomach is going to take, if you want to make it look, if you want to uh, create a visual aid, take your brush to change the color to, to a color that is going to show. And now change the brush to a hard round brush. And you can resize, you resize your brush, create an empty layer. Now you are going to draw the line. This is the shape the stomach is going to take, just like that. So with the visual aid, you can see exactly the shape the stomach is supposed to take. But so that this doesn't affect the arms, we are still going to zoom in closely and turn on the visual aid. And I'm going to trace, you're going to take a pen tool. I'm going to create a point here. And we are going to create another point right here. I'm going to create a point here. I'm going to create another point right here. Hold down the your mouse and then you can now reshape. You see that it's exactly how it works. You just hold down your mouse and drag to create an anchor point. And with the anchor point, you can bend the shape of the pen. The bigger the point, the, the wider the curve the smaller the point, the more soft to the curve. So we are just going to create a point like this, right here like this, and we are going to hold Alt to delete the upper point of the anchor. And we are going to do the same thing. We are going to create another point, reshape like this. So as easy as that to complete the cycle. If you want to make a selection, 
you are going to right click and now make selection and click on ok to turn off the helper layer we are going to take our close stamp sample from the background and paint on this area like this now i'm going to select and deselect so shall fix this we actually use the liquify to fix the back at the boobs and now we use the pen tool to fix the stomach area we selected and paint the background on this area so it's very easy hope you've learned something new if you're finding any point of this tutorial difficult or any of this explanation that is not clear to you let me know in the comment section so that i can go further to explain more if you need a tutorial on any other aspect of photography or Photoshop that you're finding difficult, you let me know in the comment section. And don't forget how we retouch the skin. We took it from looking like this to looking like this. We use the AutoFace FS action. You can get it in the link in the description. With just one click, it goes into your skin and retouch it. If you are seeing any pimples or any spot, make sure you take your spot healing brush. Gradually paint on the area to remove that. You see this her eye, we can still use the spot healing brush remove this red patch you are seeing on our eye so it's very easy to do that to whiten the eye we use the eye white action just click on the white eye white action and then you paint on the eye to whiten the eye to remove the excessive reds we can also change the background if you just make a simple selection we can change the color of the background that is beyond the scope of this tutorial if you need a tutorial how to change background color which is extremely very easy you let me know in the comment section so that i can make a tutorial on that to collaborate the skin we can use a skin tone lot to come create a color lookup now load 3d lots i have several free lots on my website you can check the link in the description so once you download the lot you go to the folder where your lot is and then load the lot into photoshop you see this is too red you can see this is too red that is how it goes not all lots works for all image. You still go further to search for more lots, the one that will work for your image. So let's blow this for dark skin. I think this is actually more desirable. It makes her skin look more melanin and you can add a levels adjustment. Right now I'm just trying to show you easy ways you can use to fix your skin and give it amazing skin tone, but I've actually made a better tutorial on that. And to keep this one short, we just did liquefy on her. You can see the liquefy we did on her body, which is the main focus of this tutorial. Please like this video if you haven't already. Leave a fire emoji in the comment section. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful tips, tricks, and photography tutorials. You can also check the link in the description to get the AutoFace FS action that automatically fix your skin. It's super easy, and you see how we used it to fix the skin issues in this particular model. It automatically, with just one click, fix the issues. If you need more texture on your skin, it's very easy to do. I just made a tutorial on that in the previous video. The last video I uploaded before this, I made a tutorial on how to add skin texture on how to enhance skin texture after doing frequent separation. You can check the channel for that tutorial. So happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.